Hello everyone! This will be a very quick and simple tutorial video on how to start using Travis CI. So, Travis CI is a continuous integration service used to build and test projects hosted on GitHub. It's free for open source projects. I'm not going to go into detail, but this is a very useful piece of software or tool that helps to identify development errors at a very early stage. The integrations or builds are triggered automatically when any developer checks in their code to the repo. To get started with this, we'll be needing a GitHub account and a public GitHub project with some unit tests. I'm going to use my Laravel wrapper package for Buckheart API. And if you're interested to find out how this package was made, just check out this video on YouTube. And I've also linked it below in the description. I think we should get started by opening the Travis-CI.org website and signing in with our GitHub account. We'll have to authorize Travis to access our account. If the repo is under an organization name, just include that as well. Don't forget, you have to be a public member of the organization for Travis to see these repos. Then we will locate the repo we want to use and just activate it. Once Travis is activated, we will have to push something to the repo to trigger the continuous integration. But a Travis.yaml file must be present in the project's root directory anyway, so we will push this file. This file tells a bit about your project and instructs Travis on what to do. So the project is written in PHP and I want to test the code in three different PHP versions. 5.5, 5.6 and 7. Before running the main test, I want to run composer install and download all the dependencies. And the main script is to run the unit tests. Let me fix these typos. This should be a hyphen, and this should be an underscore. Okay, next is to commit all the changes and push it to GitHub. Let's go back to the browser and check this out. Travis already started running the test, which is great. If something fails, you will receive all the necessary information you need to debug the issue. But our test didn't fail this time, so I think we are done here. One last thing I'd like to do is to add the Travis badge to the readme file so other people can quickly see the status of the build. For this, we can use shields.io. There are many badges you can use, but we are going to use the one for Travis CI. But you know what? I just remembered that you can actually use the one that Travis provides. Just click on the build badge and copy the markdown code. And we can just paste it in here. While we're here, why don't we add a couple more? We can add the license badge. So copy this, paste it, and let me rename it. And we can actually pull in the version from Packagist. This is a nice badge to have. So copy this one as well. And paste. Cool. So let me commit all the changes quickly. And we can see that all the badges are showing up. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, just give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tutorials like this, just subscribe to my channel. Thank you.